All right. We have the report open. We're going to now input the comps into Spark. So there's our comps, five of them. Go to export. The second box, not the first one. We only want the five. We want just the comps right now. We're going to export that. It's going to pop up a little file down here. We're going to say show in folder. We're going to rename it. Don't mind what I'm doing right there. I'm just getting rid of some stuff. So 311 comps. Then we go back, export again. But now we're gonna do all, export all matches. That's gonna be our market conditions. UFWZX. I'm gonna export that. It's gonna pop up down here again. Show in folder. Rename that, 311 MC. What? Is it removed? No. I screwed that up. We're going to do it again. If you screw it up, it's okay. Three eleven MC. Okay, I'm gonna go back here, edit search, remove the square footage. We want all the sales, overall market. Export. That number was twenty seven. Now it's seventy nine. That means we did it correctly. That's a larger number. Export that. Not export. G A U G seven P eight. Maybe I didn't input it right. There he goes. Now it's exporting that. Wait a minute. Did I mess that up? Let's try that again. Export. Seventy nine. Spark one always. Export. There we go. Custom report. Okay. Show and folder, 311 OAMC. All right, now all of our stuff is saved. We need to go click back that so we can get just back to our comparables. Okay, now we're gonna go into Spark. I already have it open. Go start over. So we're starting right from the beginning. 12, 16. 12, 16. We're going to type the subject because it's not a purchase. All you gotta do is put the parcel number. Top left corner of your tax page. 161-18019. Get data. That's your subject in there. Oop. Try that again. 161-18019A. That's why I forgot a there's a there's a letter on there. Okay, successful, upload comps. Remember, it's on desktop, you gotta go to downloads if it's not on the right one. There's, your, there's all your stuff, 311 comps. Open. The next step is we gotta put them in order, just like they are here. So we go next. First one should be three, four, six. Three, four, six is not in there. That means we didn't use it. So three, two, one. See, we didn't use that first one. So we're gonna go right to the next one. Three, two, one, right there. Three, two, one, Claremont. We're gonna put that number one. Two, three, five is gonna be number two. Six, one, one, one will be number three. Sixty, eight, twenty-one will be number four. And five, eleven. 
I see we have eight here, but we only used five. So if they're not in there, just put the five in the correct order. And then we're gonna hit export, go. That's sending all the information into the file. The next thing we gotta do on market analysis. Okay, competing properties, that's gonna be your MC. Okay, MC, open. Neighboring properties, OAMC that you saved, open. Okay, and then we're gonna hit next. This is where you have to look at your information. Okay, it's saying it's increasing. 10, 6, 5, I think that's pretty much overall stable. 1.6, 2, 1.6, that's stable. 4, 3, 6, it says it's declining, but overall I think that's fairly stable. It's an increasing market. See, it says, see the pluses? So increasing. 75, 76, 80, pretty stable. 1 1.2, 1 1.1, 1 1.0. It says it's declining on the numbers, but that says it's increasing, so we're gonna say it's stable. 148, 44, 65, stable. 95, 95, 95, stable. Stable, financial assistance, only 4.8%, that's definitely a no. Foreclosures are not a factor. So we're an increasing market. We're in balance because we have 3.4 months of supply and under three months days on market. Export, go. At this point, none of this has gone into your report. Those are right here now. There's two of them. If you can see that down in the bottom corner, okay? This one, the first one, we're gonna open it. Merge into currently open report, and the report is open right there. Import. It's now pushing all the data into the report. 